what's up guys uh, welcome to the video lecture series my name is rajat sharma and we are studying projectile motion and today i will be telling you a uh, a very important concept related to projectile motion which is the equation of trajectory so i'll be telling you equation of trajectory so whenever you <coughs> excuse me whenever you hear the term trajectory trajectory means trajectory is the relationship between the space coordinates the relationship between the space coordinates and generally we express it independently of time independently of time okay so um, we want to know the trajectory of projectile and in a projectile there are two coordinates x and y so we want to find the relation between y and x so y as a function of x this will be the trajectory okay now how to do it let's see so suppose there is a projectile like this this is the ground we have thrown the projectile at a initial velocity u at an angle of theta <clears throat> okay so suppose at any general time the projectile is at the point a its velocity has become u dash so it started with u and finally it has reached u dash this is the total velocity this is not just the horizontal component or the vertical component this is the total velocity of the projectile and u is also the total velocity okay now this velocity is at time t okay this point a if i consider the point from which the projectile has been thrown as the origin and i am defining the coordinate axis like this x y okay so this is the origin this will be the x axis and this will be the y axis so this general point a will have some coordinate let us call the coordinate as x comma y okay so this whole this length this will be x let me call it capital x capital x capital y so this whole length will be x and this whole length will be y and i want to find y as a function of x okay <clears throat> now i have already told you that in a projectile motion the horizontal component of velocity is constant and the reason for this is because there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction the earth is attracting the ball towards uh, in the downward direction towards the ground so there is no component in the horizontal direction okay so if you see if i draw the velocity vector once again u it has two component one is u cos theta which is the horizontal component and the other is u sin theta which is the vertical component this u sin theta will change with time this u sin theta changes with time due to the presence of g okay u cos theta remains constant as acceleration in the x direction is zero 
okay this is pretty obvious to us so can you tell me how can i express x as a function of time this is very easy how <clears throat> as you might have guessed the capital x will be nothing but the horizontal velocity into the time t as the projectile is moving okay as the projectile is moving we can assume that the projectile has two velocities one vertical and one horizontal and this horizontal component is not changing so as the projectile is going like this it is showing two motion one vertical one horizontal so for any general x comma y if you want to find the x you just have to focus on the horizontal velocity which is u cos theta and what the whatever time at which you want to calculate the x so into t speed is equal to distance upon time so distance is equal to speed into time simple okay what about y for y you have to focus on the vertical component because y is the vertical uh, coordinate so you need for y you need u y t plus half a y into t square this time will be same what we have used for the x because both x and y are being calculated at a particular instant of time <coughs> at a particular instant of time what is the x and what is the y so t will be same for both let me put it y will be initial velocity is u sin theta into t plus half into acceleration in the y direction is minus g into t square again my assumption is that upward direction is positive this i have told you this i have been telling you from the very first lecture this is the assumption that i am taking it does not matter if you take downward direction as positive then take the upward direction as positive the answer will be same don't worry at all okay if you want you can <coughs> tell me i can make a different video explaining you the importance of coordinate axis okay so uh, so from this equation i can substitute the value of time time will be equal to x upon u cos theta so let me put it here y is equal to u sin theta x upon u cos theta plus half minus g x upon u cos theta whole square let me simplify this thing y is equal to this will be x ten theta u cancels out minus half g x square upon u square cos square theta so this is one of the form of the equation of trajectory equation of trajectory <coughs> okay you can <coughs> some people like to write like this x ten theta minus half g x square upon u square sec square theta this is also the same thing some people further write and sec square theta is 1 plus 10 square theta so that you have 10 here and you have 10 here and it looks more like a quadratic equation in 10 so it's perfectly it's all all the same thing it doesn't matter how you want to take it but generally this is the form that i remember okay so this is the equation of trajectory clearly you can see that there is no time component in the equation the x x coordinates have been related to the y coordinate and this is a very very useful very useful uh, equation that helps you to find out uh, the x coordinate if the y coordinate is known or the y coordinate if the x coordinate is known to us very simple okay so sometimes they ask you <coughs> <coughs> there, let me just tell you uh, suppose there is a projectile you just try out this question okay and the range is range of the projectile is capital R okay find the height when x 
coordinate 